Hi and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be sharing with you an amazing opportunity from this company that is recruiting um, a nanny for their clients. So basically, if you're somebody who's got experience as a nanny or you're keen on looking for opportunities in the UK to work as a nanny, so a baby star basically, then obviously um, this video is for you. So obviously, if you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, I do appreciate your time and I hope that you find these videos useful, you find them helpful and look most importantly, implementation if you see these opportunities you see these vacancies and these are things that you're interested in it's not only enough to watch the video and do absolutely nothing otherwise it's a waste of my time your time so what you should be doing is actually um going through these companies websites applying and if you're having any questions ask them you know be confident have the courage to put yourself out there because if you don't put yourself out there obviously you're not going to have the opportunity so if you haven't subscribed to the channel do hit subscribe turn on that notification button because you do want to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. So like I've said, this company is recruiting um, a nanny, so that's a babysitter, um, for their clients. So basically, this is a family um, of five. So husband and wife, and it's in London, by the way. And I'm going to talk about actually what you get, what the requirements are, and then how to apply so that, you know, it's kind of easier for you to get through. So if you want to take notes, if you're keen on the opportunity, obviously you want to make sure that you're taking notes and you've got everything sorted. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'm going to join you there so that if it's something I can answer, I'll be able to answer. If it's something that needs further clarification, then I'm more than happy to, you know, ask them and then bring the information to you. But obviously, if you're keen, go ahead and apply that's why i'm sharing this here with you so you're going to be paid forty five thousand pounds per year as you know i'm um, working in the uk as a nanny or as a babysitter is a very highly paid job it's one of the highest paying jobs that you can have which is why if you're working in the uk for example it's easier for you looking after your own kids because if you get somebody to look after your children you're likely going to pay more than you're going to be earning in your own job so it should be no surprise therefore that this nanny position is paying forty five thousand pounds and also um it is in north london so that's where you're going to be based. Um, also, you're going to be getting your own um, room, obviously, within the household. So you've got your own space, you know, your own privacy. Um, but you're going to be staying in the house. So you're not staying outside and then coming into the house. You're going to stay with the family. Um, that's something that you do need to know. Because if you want to live in your own place, then obviously there are different opportunities to look for that. Another advantage for this position is that you don't also pay any rent or bills because you're staying within the family home. You've got no rent. You've got no bills whatsoever. So, um, you know, it's free boarding. You know, the family is providing accommodation for you. So there's no accommodation cost for you. And you're going to be paid every month. So it's 45000 per year. If you divide that by 12, that's how much you're going to be paid, obviously, every single month um, in pounds. So that is obviously what you're going to get um, if you're successful in this job. And then the second thing now, let's talk about the requirements. So by the way, before I forget, I do have a newsletter where I can send um, some of these opportunities directly to your inbox. If you check the comment section, I'm going to leave um, my newsletter on there. You can join the newsletter if you're interested. And then if there's anything, I can send it directly to you. Or if you've got any questions that you think this is very private, you don't necessarily want to put it on here. You can feel free to send it through the newsletter as well. And, you know, sometimes I'm always quite behind answering those questions through the newsletter. But I will get um, I will get through to, to, to your question. You know, if you do leave a question there, otherwise just join the newsletter. That's absolutely fine. If you're interested, obviously, in opportunities in the UK. So now let's talk about um, what obviously the requirements are so this is not a role that does not require experience you 100 percent need experience and this company you know i know the company that is recruiting they are quite strict on looking for people that have experience and when i say have experience you need to have references you know you need to have a track record you need to have you know two three people that can testify that look you've worked for them traceable references because they're going to be checking those references so that's one of the things you need experience um, you need to have references that can confirm the experience that you've got. And they are not only looking for any sort of experience, they're looking for at least three years of experience in this particular sector. So, yes, you need to have legit experience um, in order to be eligible, obviously, to be chosen. Because when you're caring for people's children, that's quite, um, 
you know that's quite um, a delicate job you need somebody who knows what they're doing so also if you've got uh, any sort of qualification in early years education that's really really helpful as well if you want to work in this sector again if you're keen on this sector and it's something that you haven't got experience in this is something that I would definitely consider doing if I was interested in this sector. If you look for courses that are talking about children, child development, those courses do help to get these positions. So again, that's just a tip that I'm giving you. If you're interested, then you should consider doing a course like that. Just check um, around you if you live you know, in a college or just wherever, depending on where you live, obviously, and see if they are offering that course and then you can take it, it's quite good. It adds a lot onto your CV because those courses will help you to learn how to be with children, how to teach children of all ages. Because this particular family, I don't even know if I've mentioned that, this family, um, this is a family of five. So husband and wife work full time. Um, they've got two boys, you know, who are five and seven. And they've also got a daughter who is 18 months. So the two boys obviously will be going to school full time. And your duty will be taking those children to school and back preparing them. And then obviously, you've got an 18-month-old baby who's going to be home with you. Um, so you do need to look after the baby and make sure that you're aware of how to stimulate the baby, make the baby um, comfortable, you know, make healthy food, you know, healthy food for the baby. And also, these are tips that if you're interested in applying, you should be including, obviously, in your CV and your personal statement. Because, you know, having healthy food, you know, healthy meals... These are also things that are going to help. And if you check, you know, online, there are also courses, little courses that you can do online that are going to help just to enhance, you know, your CV, enhance that experience or tell you, you know, what meals children eat at what age, what is healthy, you know, healthy veg, healthy food. How do you cook those things? You know, because these are not positions that is just like random experience. No, you need to be seen, you know, to be experienced enough and to know exactly what you're are doing because in the interview these are some of the things that they are going to be looking out for as well as um on the job application so and the mom um sometimes they're gonna be she's gonna be working from home so again that's an added advantage because even though this is a living position it doesn't mean that you're going to be there 24 7 you still get time of work even if you live in the home you know with the family that you're working with or working for um because they have said you're gonna work 9 a.m to 7 p.m monday to friday and then you're so you're off weekends and then you're also going to have two nights per week where you're going to babysit so the little baby um the rest of the time obviously is your time off because again there's a misconception that if you're doing a living job whether living carer or living nanny then you don't have any time off you do get time off um you do get time off, obviously, um, but it is the time that is stipulated according to your contract. So if there's anything that needs arranging, you always want to negotiate before you start work. And the interesting thing is that they want somebody to start in January 2023. So the vacancy is currently open. And the company that is recruiting, I don't know if I've even said that, is um, Eden Private Staff. So they are the ones that are recruiting Eden Private Staff. If you go to their website, obviously, you need to have the required experience. Like I've said, if you don't, consider the tips that I've given to be able to help you. Just gain, you know, some certificates, gain some experience. But yes, you do need experience, obviously, for this position. Um, also, when you're filling the application form, do make sure that, you know, your English is on slick because they want somebody who can speak English very fluently. If you can speak an additional language, obviously, that is an advantage because it means that as you're home with the kids, you're going to be able to teach the children that additional language as well, which is something that, um, you know, positions like this, are amazing for people that can speak any other language whether it's spanish um italian german french any other language apart from english but you've got to be spot on when it comes to english and they've specified that you're going to see that once you go to their website to see the applications that's eden private staff um if you've got any questions obviously um about whether how to apply but like i've said just use the tips that i've explained in this video and put your application in because, you know, if you don't apply, how are you going to know? But make sure that you've got experience because like I always say, it's not just about applying for any job and every job. You need to make sure that you're interested in the job. That's the first thing. Then you need to make sure that you've got the, the relevant skills, you know, and that you've got the relevant qualifications, you know, that you need because every job is different. If you're applying for anything and everything, it can be very, very challenging because a CV for a position like this is going to be completely different from if you're applying for any other position. Also, the courses that you're going to consider doing 
if you're interested in a, in a job like this are different from if you want to apply for other positions. So having that focus, having that, you know, having that direction in what you want and what you're looking for is going to be key to you succeeding, excelling, and actually getting the job that you want. So you don't want to be all over the place because that can be very, very disturbing. Though it can seem like a great idea, but 99.9% .9 of the times, it isn't really. And you need to be really, really focused. Obviously, if you're part of my private coaching program, um, you know, I can obviously support you with this. Make sure that you've got a good application. Make sure that you've got the required experience. You know, make sure that you've got the required qualifications. Um, they're also going to be doing a DBS, a DBS check. Because if you don't have, a, so that's a police um, report basically you need to make sure that you know you're clean you're on sleek because working with children um, children are vulnerable people so you need to make sure that you're able to work with kids and you've got the certificate from the police um, as evidence of that it's also part of the requirements that you need in order to apply for this job so um, Eden private staff you know you definitely want to check it out uh, apply if you're interested share this video with your contacts, your friends, your network, your colleagues, your loved ones who are interested in positions like this because these are opportunities that um, are there that if you're aware and you're able to put in a good application, then you have the chances of being successful. Um, but obviously, you want to make sure that you're presenting yourself, you know, as you are, you know, with the experience that you need, but you put the best, um, you know, relevant experience that you've got, obviously, forward because that's technically you know and basically what they're looking out for have you got experience working in this sector have you got the required qualifications you know so again i thank you for watching the video i hope that you found it helpful and useful i hope that the tips i've given i've given are going to help you to get this job um if you're qualified for so again they're paying forty five thousand a year per year is in london and i wish you all the best in your application keep watching the videos thank you so much